Hey guys, thank you for being with me. I'm so sorry I have been away. I am never away this long. This is like the first time this has ever happened. And I have just been so busy. I know it's not an excuse, but I got some comments from you guys like, where'd you go? Where have you been? I just want you to know I have not gone anywhere. I will never leave you guys. I love you guys. And if I'm away for longer than usual, which never happens, it's always for good reason. I have just been so slammed and so busy, so please forgive me. I am back and I am here. You may notice that my hair is longer than usual. I once again got extensions with the most amazing salon in Toronto and I have an amazing video coming up for you guys in the next couple of weeks. And I also did a treatment in my hair, so it's kind of looking like plastered to my head. And I greased up my face. <laughs> I am about to go out. I need to put sunscreen on. So I want to make this video for you, and I didn't, you know, put on all this makeup. But I don't want to be so self-deprecating. I'm just letting you guys know, because sometimes you guys are... You ask me weird questions like, why is your face so shiny? Well, I put oil on my face, and that's why. <laughs> So first and foremost, if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. I make videos all the time, like two times a week at least. And I really focus on a lot of fashion on this channel, as well as getting the look for less. I do a lot of vlogging, and I love bringing you guys into my life. So please join me. Join my Style Hard community. I love to have you. So if you clicked on this video based on the title, then you know I'm comparing a $50 Amazon bag with a $3,000 Chanel bag. And I'm sure you want me to get right into it, so I'm gonna get right into it. <laughs> so the two bags I am comparing today are my $50 beautiful Amazon plastic bag. <laughs> and I love it. And my $3,000 plus dollar Chanel plastic bag. Now this Chanel bag is stuffed. I always keep every bag stuffed. I take really good care of my things because I want them to last through the years and I don't want to keep buying them. So I always really put my bags in the dust cover and stuff them when they're not in use. So this is the, oh, there's a business card in here. I just wore it the other night and I got a business card. Um, this is the Chanel and this is in silver. So silver leather lining or trim and silver hardware. I love this like metallic silver leather. Um, it's just so, it's so perfect with obviously the silver hardware. It just matches with everything. It is neutral and I'm really into this clear plastic bag trend that's happening right now. This bag is actually from the 90s. And this was really one of my best scores, I gotta say. And then there is this bag, which I am currently using right now. I'm going to close it. Now, this is my plastic bag from Amazon. And this has the gold trim. I can't say that it's leather, pretty sure it's plastic. <laughs> with gold hardware, and that's exactly why I chose gold. I had the option for silver, I had the option for white, black, but I really wanted gold because I already have the silver, and I love the metallics, whether it's gold or silver, they really match with everything, but if I'm going out and I really want to go with gold accessories, then this is a good option, and it was a really good price, so I don't really feel like it's a big investment and I feel like, you know, it's an easy buy because I could just use it for traveling, use it for the beach, and I don't have to worry about getting it ruined because it was very reasonably priced and it's plastic. So it is in use right now so you could see what's in it. Maybe I'll do a quick little what's in my bag because there's not much in it. And then I'm going to get into the differences between the two bags and the pricing, of course. So I'm just going to quickly show you what's in my bag, which is really not much, because in this clear bag you cannot put all your crap. You cannot keep like all your scrunched up receipts and like just random things that 
you're storing in the bottom of your purse. You've got to keep it clean because it's clear and you can see everything. And if you're OCD like me, it has to be perfect and neat and tidy. So the first thing is my Prada wallet. Keys. My lip gloss, which if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, then you've seen me use this lip gloss in my vlogs. It is like, it's from Essence Beauty from the drugstore. It was like maybe seven or eight bucks. I love it. And my Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Chapstick, and that is it. That is all that's in this bag. So let's get into the differences between these two bags. So when you look at these two bags, there's really not that much difference between them. They are both plastic and I'm pretty sure they're made out of the same material for the majority of the bag besides the leather trim. If you look at this on its own, it really doesn't look that much different. When you put them side by side, that's when you really notice the differences, but I mean, we are talking $3,000 versus $50. And this is $50 Canadian, so I'm sure US would be even cheaper. And I am definitely going to leave a link below for how you could get this bag. So the main differences, and I'm probably going to have to get up and show you. The main differences are, first of all, the lock. This is not a Chanel, so it's not going to have the CC on it. But it does have the Mademoiselle style lock, which you will see on a reissue bag and some other variation of Chanel bags, um, which have this Mademoiselle twist lock closure. Now, this bag, you know, again, it was 50 bucks, so the quality is not 100%. Sometimes I gotta like, doesn't, I gotta like shimmy it on to close it. And let me just get up close to show you. So as you can see, the finishing is not exactly, you know, top quality, but that's okay. That's why I bought this bag. I bought this bag so that I could just wear it and not really worry about it. I could take it with me anywhere and just not worry if it gets damaged because it really is not that expensive. As you can see, it's not like perfect. Another thing that you guys need to know about this bag is that the chain, okay, is also really not the best made chain. Like if you turn it around, you can really see um, the material kind of coming together or coming apart. Like I feel like after a little bit of wear with this bag, these um, this material will come apart and it might not look so great. I hope that doesn't happen and I hope that this bag lasts. I mean, even though it was $50, it's still $50 and I do want it to last. I do want to wear it. Um, so I really, that's my main concern really is this, this material in there, which you can't see when you're wearing it because there's the other side and you just kind of flip it to the other side. But it does concern me that this will come apart because it's probably held together by glue and glue alone. And you know, it's not the most high quality material. So We'll see how this wears over time. All right, next we have the Chanel, which is same, same, but different. <laughs> Look, this is a plastic bag. Now I wanna give you a little background about this bag. This bag, Chanel is making a plastic bag this season, 2018 spring, summer, and it is really cute. It is, there's a few variations of this plastic bag and it comes in like a multicolor trim. So like the one that I saw was pastel colors, but I think there are a few different options for the plastic bags this season. I think they're pretty much sold out at this point, um, but they did come out at the beginning of the season. And um, the plastic is a little bit tinted, I believe. I could be wrong. I believe it's 
tinted. It's it's quilted with some stitching in it. It's still plastic though. And um, it has like some pastel multicolor trim like turquoise, pink, yellow. It is so cute, but it is over $3,000 and I would never spend that on a plastic bag. The reason, this bag is from the 90s and the way that I scored this bag is because I bought it years ago when nobody wanted it. This was like sitting in some vintage store, like pitifully sad, and it was very reasonably priced. And I saw and I was like, you know, I'm gonna grab that. It was a really great price. Nobody wanted it. I believe it was collecting dust and it was there for a long time. It had been reduced like three times. And I'm like, I'm gonna get this. And I, I love it. I, I loved it from the moment I saw it. I didn't care that at the time it wasn't in style. I loved it. I thought it was a good score for Chanel. I think I, I just knew that like, even back then, anything Chanel is going to appreciate in value. And I am so happy that I got this. Um, but if this came out today and it was thousands of dollars, I would never have purchased it. But I'm really happy I got it. Um, I'm going to show you up close the details of this bag. So as you can see, this has the Chanel turn the Chanel lock closure, kiss lock, I don't know what they call it, but it's classic Chanel closure. And the stitching you can see is much more clean and, you know, perfect, but it's Chanel, you know, you have to expect that from Chanel. Both of the bags have the same type of plastic, so the plastic can get scratched. This has a little bit of scratching on it, but again, it's really not a big deal. This is um, where the, uh, what's it called? The, um, what is this thing called? Oh my God, I'm having a blank. Ho hologram, <laughs> the hologram um, sticker is, and the little Chanel tab there. Sorry about my really bad nails. I'm giving them a break from shellac. And same thing on the back, you got the, um, the pocket. And the chain is beautiful as expected by Chanel. There is none of that like with the other bag. It is just perfect. You see the, um, the under stitching, which is just as good as the top. It is just, you know, it's well made, of course. It's Chanel, but it is plastic, guys. It's plastic. <laughs> so really, you guys, there is not that much difference between these two bags. Let's get a close-up of them side by side. They are pretty much the exact same size. The exact same size. They're the exact same size. I love that I have the gold option and the silver option. I love that this is the turn lock like the Mademoiselle because it kind of has that Chanel vibe, but I love that I didn't have to spend the Chanel price on it. And overall, I'm very happy with this purchase. I think it was a good buy. Um, I'm going to Vegas in a couple days. Stay tuned for a Vegas vlog. And this will definitely be coming with me. And it can come to the pool. It can come to the club. This can come everywhere because it's cute. It's on trend. And it's plastic, so I'm not going to ruin it. <laughs> Now, if you are following me on Instagram, you would have already seen me talk about this bag about a week ago. So if you're not following me, but you want to know what's happening in real time with all the things that I post, the products that I use, the things that I buy, make sure you check me out on Instagram at StyleHard. I'd love to have you. I post all the time. I post my fashion looks almost daily and I love connecting with you guys through Instagram. It's awesome. I read all your messages. I always respond and I always keep you guys posted on what I'm doing. So I'd love to have you there with me. All right guys, that is all I have for you today. I really just wanted to get this video up 
and show you guys the differences between the two bags. You do not have to spend $3,000 to get the look. This bag is awesome. It is wearable all season. You can rock it anytime, winter, spring, summer, fall. It is cool. It is chic. And it was 50 bucks. Can't go wrong. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That really helps me a lot. And as always, guys, I will be back in a couple days, and I cannot wait to see you. Until next time, bye for now.